Um, freaking, you know who Andrew Bustamante is? No, who's Andrew Bustamante? CIA guy. Some CIA guy making the rounds. He, so he looks like he's a Hispanic cat. Oh, wait, wait. I think I've seen him. Does he have, like, kind of, like, long hair? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. He's, like, an ex-CIA uh, agent. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think there's any such thing as ex-CIA agent, if you ask me, though. I think yeah, once yeah. you're an agent, you're always an agent Probably. for life. But he said something really interesting regarding UFOs and aliens and stuff like that. Uh, I forgot what podcast he was on. And also, Bustamante, if you're hearing us, man, if you know, if you want to ever feature on our podcast, you know, just... Uh, Comment or you know, we'll, we'll uh share, like, and subscribe, baby. Yeah. Share, like, and subscribe. But yeah, what did you hear about the UFOs, dude? It is crazy. He's like, Yo, I'm paraphrasing here, and I and I kind of agree with him on this. And I think this is what happened. I just, I, I just, what was he in charge of? Was he in charge of like a nuclear part of the say, pro- program or something? But he did have, he did have like top secret clearance. Yeah, I don't know, like, I don't know. I think those, those, those CIA guys don't go on these podcasts unless they get the okay from higher up, yeah, yeah, start talking. yeah. No, I don't care. No, I've seen him on a few podcasts where they're like, they're asking him certain questions. He didn't ask. He didn't answer some of the questions. I can't. I can't answer. That's confidential. Yeah. So he, what he said, and this is, and I think the CIA guys brush shoulders or kind of like come in contact with certain people who know about UFO stuff. Yeah. But he said it. He absolutely nailed it in his hypothetical of how an alien invasion would look like. Um, and this is what I believe in too. If you, if you try to invade a country, right? You don't, and you want the resources of the country, right? You just don't walk in and start shooting stuff up because then you run the risk of ruining the country and messing up the resources, right? Yeah. What you do is you befriend some of the leaders or some chosen people of the country, right, who have enough power. You make them promises. You give them stuff. And then in turn, they drive the country and the country's policy in a direction that benefits you, right, the possible opposing country. Well, scale that out to like a, a galactic level if aliens were invading and i think they i think they not only did i think do i think aliens already invaded do you think they're invaded or they're I think or they're like a survival mode i'll get to that really shortly number one i think the aliens been invaded i think they've been in control and, and how long do you think years years i, I think we were, were talking about like the roman uh, empire times no, or? No, no, no 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 so this one uh, it's from nazi germany around that time so, so you, don't, you don't think prior to that Prior, to, look, I think there were multiple species. I think the species that is in control right now, right right now, is the one that that has been since like pre Nazi Germany, like around that time when the Nazis had yeah. a UFO that crashed into like some forest or whatever. And the reason I'm asking this is because like if that species landed here or got here or was already here at a certain point, there was a point where humanity was really really vulnerable. You know what I mean? So. If they would have gone to that point where we were on no cavemen, they could have just taken over and say we don't have to negotiate with them. Like they have nothing. They're they're that's the thing. Primitive. So here, here's what happened. Here's here's what's going on with these specific species. They have low numbers. I think they have low numbers because something happened. They they messed up their genetics. They're like uh, according to his name was John Lear, uh, an interview that I heard with John Lear and and, and I think Nap something that Robert Nap or something like that. These these beings, their their digestive system is messed up. They can't really eat like that no more. So I don't know how they eat, but they have a genetic dead end where they can't reproduce anymore. And if they could reproduce, um, it has to be through like through through genes and endocrine and, and, and certain uh, endocrine endocrinological endo, endocrinology chronological experiments. Yeah. So humans and some of the life forms on Earth are rich in that type in those type of, of, of resources, genetic resources. So they kidnap humans, right? And they, they siphon off some of the resources and then they make hybrids, gray and human hybrids, right? To kind of help their blood, their, their species continue. Because right now, their species is at a dead end. They don't have the numbers for it. They don't have the numbers to, to fight a war, even if they wanted yeah. to. So if that's true, what happens once all the pure breeds are gone and they're all hybrids, then what? I think that's good for them. I think that they're... Is that what they want? They're okay with that? They have no choice. And I think, you know, if I was a better man, it's like, well, we got the hybrids now. But how do we make pure breed now? So you take two hybrids and you kind of take what makes them a gray and what makes them a human and you separate it and you try to make, oh, you got 50-50 and then you mix that and then you have, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, or you take or you take a half human hybrid and a full gray and you, you kind of like mix those genetic materials and whatever parts help them survive on earth is what they keep. Uh, I'm guessing um, this species probably is really, really good at travel, right? 
Yeah, I don't know where they came from or how they even got here or if they've been here since forever. Do you think they've like shared their travel technology? Uh, so actually, to, to get, like fully or they're no, 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 no. So what they did, and I'm convinced, I'm convinced that this is what they did. What they did, uh, first they reached out to Nazi Germany, okay? They reached out to Hitler and those people and those those absolute the, those, the monsters, right? Those those absolute monster Nazis, and they promised them certain technologies, right? If they let them take certain people, okay? Yeah. Obviously, you saw how that turned out. I don't know what happened. I don't know how Germany just went crazy or whatever. It's still invading. They lost the war. The Greeks were like, oh, hold up. They stepped back, right? The next thing is, well, they go to America now, and they say to America, yo, let us... Do you, uh, do you, sorry to cut you off. Do you think America was already aware? Yeah, 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 yeah. So Harry has truly... But, but they had no communication with that. They had no communication. Oh. They had no communication. Um... Somehow, I don't know how they were able to negotiate meeting with each other. They actually met with each other. And it was like, uh, I think Eisenhower, and I think I said this before, Eisenhower met with them. And it was like, yo, they were like, yo, let us take some people for those reasons. We need we need some of the genetic material because their bloodline is dying, their, their, their race is going extinct, and they need to do something. Let us take some of your people, all right? We'll put them back. We're going to take them. You ever heard those stories people get kidnapped and they shove needles up of them and they take ovaries and all that stuff? Where they come back and they're like, oh, I had a crazy experience. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So they take the people, they do the thing, and they put them back. The deal was, okay, you can take them, but you got to bring them back. And, you know, we keep a list of yeah. who gets kidnapped. It's no secret. I don't know if you've heard this part where after people get kidnapped or abducted by aliens and they come back down to Earth, they get a knock on the door by what's called the men in black. Yeah. Right? I think that's the government investigating to make sure the person actually came back and to, to make sure they're okay okay it's like a little I, like a follow-up i think initially i think that i think they're they're not good people anymore but whatever the case is so what happened was eisenhower of course like no you're crazy we're not giving you that stuff and they were like well if you don't we're gonna go to russia and we're gonna give them weapons in exchange for their people so like, all right you know what so what we're gonna do is what we're gonna do is what we're gonna do is this what we're going to do is this. You give us technology so that we can stay ahead of the so that we can stay ahead of the Russians and in exchange you can kidnap people and abduct people and take and take some of their genetic material and stuff like that. And they were like, bet. But we're not going to help you reverse engineer that technology all the way. Not only that, but these these beings had like the iPhone 14, yeah. right? But they were giving the United States like the Nokia flip phone. You don't think we had enough leverage to say no, give us everything? No, I don't think we did. I don't think we did. And even if we did, it'd be like, well, they have advanced technology that we can use against. Remember, this peak Cold War season. Like, yeah. That we can use against the aliens. You know what we're going to do? Let's just say, yeah, we don't have a choice. If we don't, they're going to give it to the Russians. The Russians are going to invade us. And way more people are going to get deleted. It makes me wonder, what if all the nations came together and were like, no, we're going to make the aliens give us everything. That's the thing. What happens is, the small group of people that they made contact with with the UFOs, eventually they started reverse engineering the technology and they started making some breakthroughs. But then they're separated from the government and they have their own stuff. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So so I have a theory as well. Like, was it that they landed in Germany first and that's why they, they collaborated with Germany first? Or was it because they saw Germany as a better bet? And so they chose them first. Because well, at that time, America was still a superpower, or getting to be a superpower. Well, it wasn't that they landed, they cr the, 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 the craft crash landed on German, in German soil. The Germans retrieved it, and they were trying to reverse engineer it. Oh, so, it so it was just uh, luck that it landed there? Because it could have landed, landed in Antarctica or something. There, there are some UFOs in Antarctica, actually, that have landed in Antarctica. Funny funny you mention that. But, yeah, for what, I think it was on uh, purpose. We'll get more into that next, yeah, yeah. next episode. I think it was on purpose, though, that the UFO crash landed <clears throat> in yeah. the forest in Germany. The Germans somehow reverse engineered. The Germans somehow had pretty advanced for the time weapons and technology and all that stuff. Mm. And the Germans were one of a global superpower. They were growing to be a global superpower or became a superpower, possibly as a result of that. So, do you think there's other species out there that are like not friends? Of course, yeah, yeah, of course. And and you know, I, I think going all the way back to my point, those aliens already infiltrated the highest levels of government, right? And as a result, uh, the government that we see here is just a show 
the actual shadow government that deals and works with these beings, they're the ones calling all the shots. They're the ones kind of driving humanity to a certain point, and I think they're the ones driving division so that humans don't get along. If you were to take me and plot me in, let's say, China, and I was talking to a regular Chinese guy, and I'd ask him, what do you want? Chances are, like, oh, I want my family to be well. I'm going to make sure we're all okay, blah, blah. I'm like, I want that too. Why can't we all get together and be like, hey, we all want the same thing here. What's going on here? Why am I fighting with you and we all want the same thing? Is it that you think I'm going to take it away from you? I think it's, I think, personally, I think it's the shadow government working with extraterrestrial or interdimensional beings. And I don't care how crazy I sound. I'm convinced that this is what it is. There was a secret invasion that happened. It wasn't with guns blazing. It was subversion of government through CIA agents, through FBI agents, through certain military people, right? How did they cover all that up? Because it's, it's a hundred of us, let's say, right? Did they fight like in the desert somewhere or something? No, no, no. It's, well, actually they did, but that's a different story. It's a hundred of us, right? Two of us know what's really going on. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's all they need. All they need is the right people to know what's going on and the right people to call the shots and the right people to push policies a certain way. Like, hey, Jay, uh, let's not use a, a MacBook. Let's use a Windows a Windows laptop. You're like, okay, I don't, I don't see what the big difference is. But it's my boy Bill Gates. So if my boy Bill Gates can get paid, and in turn, Bill Gates gives me some money. You don't know why I chose a Microsoft. Yeah. You have some wacko saying that, oh, this guy Jay is working with Bill Gates. Bill Gates doesn't even know Jay. What are you talking about? But in reality, it's like, I'm working with Bill Gates. We're going to put Microsoft Windows here. He gets paid. He gets what he wants. I get a little bit of what I want. And you're annoyed because now you have to do stuff on, now you have to do your video editing on Microsoft instead of Apple. Do you think aliens have some sort of AI technology too? I don't know, dude. I have no clue. <clears throat> or is that more like of a human thing? I have no clue, man. I have no clue. I don't know what... I, all I know, all I can tell you is that, yeah, humanity has been secretly invaded. Uh, 100%. Humanity has been invaded by other beings um, for whatever reason, some for their genetic, for our genetic material. They kidnap people. Um, they, they, I think, I don't know if they keep, if they even bringing them back anymore. I think they're just keeping them now. Before you were supposed to bring them back, now they're not, they're not bringing them back no more. And I think, I don't know if this is the same group or if there's another group of, of extraterrestrial beings that feed off of, like, human emotion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so... But it, another thing, like, I, I think there's, like, other planets out there that are probably similar to Earth, right? They, do you if, think they're, they're doing that like, across the entire, like, galaxy? So, if, maybe, I don't know, if you want to believe Tom DeLong from Blink-182... Yeah, uh, he says that human beings. There's something special about human beings. I know as he gets us to go right, because we're all human beings. Uh, there's something special about the human race uh, that they want for whatever reason. I don't know if it's because of the the whole our ability to our, our thought, our thoughts kind of like uh, us are is able to create reality in a in a weird way. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know, man. I, but there there there's no it's it's, it's not even a question. Human race has been subverted. So you think that at the top layer of the government, there's no one that's actually just pure human and is actually looking out for the best of humanity. It's like, oh, I'm I'm, I'm dealing with the aliens for now, but I have an end game for us. I, I don't or, think or so. Or you don't think so? I don't think so. Or the aliens are like I on think, top and that's it. Like I, the I, other I, ones are pull, uh, pulling look, the cards. The, the aliens are cowards, right? The greys are cowards. But the thing is that, yo, they're giving us, they're giving us uh, 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 like stuff. They're giving us weapons. That we can use against possibly other extraterrestrial beings that can try to, that can really come over. You don't think like at one point? Oh, that's that's very true. You don't think at one point like the government was like, you know what? Like we were playing back and forth games. Like we want everything. Yeah. So what happened was Dulce, New Mexico, right? There's a lab in Dulce, New Mexico, and we're gonna wrap it up with this. There's a lab in Dulce, New. Me I don't know if you ever heard of like the Battle of Dulce, New Mexico, no. where that is exactly what happened. The United States government was like. Yo, enough of this nonsense. We're tired of this. You guys keep taking people and you guys don't, you know, you guys just keep doing whatever you want. You're not communicating with us the way you're supposed to. They send a bunch of, I think, Green Berets and some Delta Force people. Do you and think they told them, like, where you, like, where you're going to deal with? Or I don't know. I don't know if they were like, yo, uh, bring these guns. It's an exercise. <laughs> yeah, right. You imagine, like, bring these guns. It's an exercise. It's some weird looking thing. And they're like, oh, okay. Yeah, use rear bullets and uh, take the safety off and uh, be really quiet. And, uh, yeah. oh, if you see anything, just shoot it. Don't ask no questions. Shoot. Like, this is a weird yeah. exercise. But basically, it was like, yo, we want you guys off this planet to freak out of here. And so we got fed up with them. Yeah, and the response kind of was like, what you going to do about it? And I guess the grades weren't 
cowards like people thought they were. Like, yeah. And they started shooting at them. It was like a back and forth shootout. And a couple of a couple of Delta forces did end up being the leaders. Um, but the reason they did that was because I think there was a UFO crash that occurred. And in that crash, they recovered alien bodies. But they also recovered human bodies that were already dismembered. Human bodies. That You're were, saying the president was aware of this at uh, the time? So, no, not not that president at the time. Initially, Eisenhower was aware of what was going on, right? But then the next president comes in, and he's kind of, sort of aware of what's going on, but not completely. And then the next president so, comes in. Well, where do you think the disconnect happened, and why? JFK. The, J the, the disconnect happened during JFK. So, damn, dude, this is a lot of stuff. So, apparently, there was a secret, something called the Secret Space Program that the the an initial government that the initial US government that hadn't that came in contact with UFOs started developing technology, right? But they didn't want to put it out to the public. But Lockheed Martin, Boeing, all those people had a vested interest in just continuing to develop it, right? They had a secret space program, they were able supposedly to go to the moon and back and all that stuff with some weird ships that they managed to reverse engineer. JFK was like, now nah, we're not gonna do this, man. We're gonna we're gonna put a stop to this. We're gonna we're gonna start our own stuff. We're gonna we're gonna develop our own space program. So he de he kept developing or he kept funding. I think you know uh, the moon landing missions and stuff like that. Kind of as a response to what he suspected was yeah. a, a breakaway shadow secret space program organization. And so what happened with him? And that that's where the ultimate disconnect happened. After that, wow. So the next administration that came in weren't aware. They weren't aware, or they were kind of hey yeah you know Roswell forget about it. You know the government's on top. We're on top of that. Don't worry. And so but back back to that that battle that you were mentioning. Who won that battle? I think we did. Because, like I said, man, they're outnumbered. They don't have enough. They don't so, have the so numbers. That's the, so, okay, so if we're at a point where we beat them, we could basically, we don't have to work I, with them anymore. It was a disconnect. The pe I'm almost convinced that the people who sent the soldiers in there yeah. was because, like, oh, wait, something's going off. It's not the same person that allowed those aliens to be there in the first place. I think that's the first time that... And they're, like, rebel a aliens? No, no, I think that's the first time that the United States, the actual, the true United States that we know, came in contact with the breakaway civilization version of the United States, right? And so it was like, the group was like, what are you talking about? We have permission to be here. We're not getting out of here. Yeah. Somebody gave them permission to be there. It wasn't the, the real United oh, States. It was I the, see. it was the, like the Majestic 12 people or whatever. Oh, so we, wait, wait, what are the Majestic 12, man? Guys, we're going to have to wrap it up here. What are the Majestic... <laughs> this is a lot. It's a lot. Guys, uh, we're going to wrap it up here, but I, I'll, I'll tell you in the... You can look at the Majestic 12 as like the, the... What people call them as the human council between human, humanity, and extraterrestrial. And why 12? Is there 12 of them? Yeah, and they're like engineers and scientists or whatever. But are they individual people or families? <sighs> no, they're people. They're people. Okay. So people consider their families. But and how are they replaced? That's a good question. I don't know. But maybe I do. And uh, you're going to have to tune in next week to find out if you guys are interested. Uh, we kind of went on a rant here. No, this is good. This is good stuff, man. I'm sure that, you know, the, the audience, the, the people, they want to know the truth or they want to know yeah, yeah. All the information that's out there. For those of you who are curious, look up the TR-3B Aurora, okay? That's a triangle UFO. That one is ours. By ours, I mean humanities, okay? That one is ours. That one we developed. That one is the one that um, we reverse engineered with crashed uh, Roswell technology. And possibly the one what we found in... Uh, do you think it's it's advanced or it's probably like an old model that the aliens had, do you think? No, no, that one's ours. Or we created based we created on their technology. Yeah, based on their technology. Um, if you guys notice with the TR-3B auroras, there's like a red circle under the aurora. That's Mercury. Apparently, the Nazis discovered a way to either magnetize Mercury or whatever to the point where it starts displaying anti-gravity. Yeah, so it starts levitating up without any combustion. But uh, that's, that's the podcast, folks. Jay, you got anything else to say? No, that's it, guys. Just tune in for next week. Uh, hopefully, you know, they don't come after us. <laughs> sure. Majestic 12. Sure. Um, but yeah, well, we'll keep you, you know, up to date with uh, the latest trends and also, you know, uh, history as well, man. I learned a lot today, man. No, Thanks, Jay. It's, yeah, no, it's a, it's a lot. Uh, if you guys are interested in the UFO stuff, man, I, we, I love to talk about the UFO stuff. Me uh, actually um, being a, a believer in Christ, I find this the UFO stuff really, really interesting. Yeah, yeah. man. Uh, but all right, guys, you guys take care, and uh, we'll see you next week. Peace.